Hi everybody, this is the second video instalment in my documentation of my project to instrument this Skywatcher Dobsonian telescope. In the last video I showed how I was connecting the connecting magnetopots up to the base to measure the angle of azimuth and elevation. I've got the same thing going on here and we connected those magnetopots up to this Arduino microcomputer. You can see what I've got added on here now is a little LCD screen which is printing out the current right angle and declination of the telescope. Um, so the Arduino is reading the values of altitude and azimuth and elevation and converting those to right angle and declination and printing them out on the screen. And you can see that if I move the telescope, the values are going to change. And you can you can see, you can tell what's happening with the angle conversion because even though I'm only moving the telescope in one axis, both values here are changing because of the difference in the two coordinate systems. So obviously to get the correct angle of right angle and declination, the Arduino needs to know the current position, latitude and longitude, and the time and date. Um, and those are programmed in by connecting the Arduino up to a computer, a uh, laptop, and I'm just going to sh show you that next step now. Okay, so now I've got the telescope connected up to the laptop, um, and I've got a server program running on the laptop, which will synchronize the time between the laptop and the telescope's Arduino, and also it will it will tell it the uh, the position of the la the latitude longitude of the telescope which I've programmed in. Um, also, the telescope is reporting the right angle declination position which it thinks it's in over the serial to the laptop. And the last video I showed this kind of proof of concept where I could use this data to display where the telescope is pointing in Stellarium. Um, but in that video, you saw there were some problems that the angle conversions weren't coded up correctly, so it was uh, it was just you know f pretty much a random position in the sky. Here, what I've done now is I'm now correctly reporting the right angle declination, and you can see the reticule on screen here indicating where the telescope's pointing. Um, and up in the top left corner, we've got the reported. Uh, right angle declination position and out as the telescope is pointing out. Um, and so I'm going to move the telescope now and hopefully you'll see the reticule move and it should look a little bit more plausible than it did last time. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to point the telescope straight up to the maximum point in the sky. And I've got these, these lines shut on the screen here are... Um, azimuth and elevation. So that's the telescope pointing straight up. And if we just like, there's a bit of lag in the system at the moment. If we line it up there and then we can rotate the telescope on the other axis. So hopefully you can see there that the um, the angles which the telescope was pointing out looked a, a little bit more realistic than they did in the last video. Uh, the other problem we had in the last video was there was noise on the position of the telescope, which meant that this reticule was sort of swimming around in the sky a bit. Um, hopefully you can see it's quite stable now. Managed to fix those noise issues. I might put some information on my website about how I did that, but I probably won't go into it in this video. Um, there, my website will be linked in the um, description below this video where you can get some more information on this and view the other the previous video and um, also links where you can download the code.
that I've used to program this. Um, so there's still a few issues with the issues with the system, mainly around um, precision. Um, I need to get some more precision, uh, both in my calculations and also in the hardware by using a better digital analog converter. I've, or uh, sorry, analog digital converter. I've still got to fix that up. Um, uh, but hopefully I'll do that soon and post another video.